Hey, good evening. Let's talk sports. After ripping off 21 runs in the last two games, the Seawolves wrap up the homestand in front of a sold-out UPMC Park crowd. Starting pitcher Kyle Funkhauser coming off one of the best months in franchise history, 7,020 in hand tonight, including Mr. America Eric Brookhauser. Continues to outdo himself. First three Bay Sox reached against Funk in the second. He walks Ryan McKenna, and it's the game's first run. But it could have been so much worse. The Funk Man would retire the next three, getting Corbin Joseph to ground to Dominic Ficicello at first to end the inning. Bottom three, Wolves turn a pair of walks into the game tying run. Guess who? Daz Cameron grounds to second, scores Danny Woodrow, and it's a one to one game. We go to the fourth. Funkhauser continuing to battle. He gets Martin Cervanka to ground into a double play, but it comes after the first two batters reached. Anderson Felice scores 2 1 Bowie, but Funk in the bullpen kept the team in it. Erie down 3 2 in the ninth. One on for Jake Rogers. Greg Gagne on the call. The pitch. Rogers swings, sends it out to left. Going back is Rafaela. Turns around, looks up. Ball game. Such a ball time. Jake Rogers in front of a crowd of 7,020 walks it off, and the Sea Wolves take down the Bay Sox. So the Seawolves take the series. They'll spend the fourth in Binghamton against Tim Tebow and the Rumble Ponies. Indians in Kansas City. Let's get to the good stuff. Down 4-2 in the fifth. Watch Brandon Geyer helping Shane Bieber. He says, baby, 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 ooh. Diving play in right. And then how about Jan Gomes with the bags full. And the second night in a row, the Tribe deliver a grand salami. Indians win it. Your final was 6-4. to